so hi everyone welcome back to another edition of your favorite thing okay it's on your top 20 list at least number 19 20 we'll take 20 but the velvet lounge life so guess what my time here in Pittsburgh is just two days away from being over I did my final filming with them today um, in some more scenes so now I'm going to be in maybe 15 scenes I want to say like I'm in definitely like 15 different scenes so I will not end up on the cutting room floor Scar! and that is usually the goal regardless you get paid even if you end up there but for me it's not about the pay it's about the experience and I just like doing it. So some things to know, and this is basically a wrap up, is first of all, Pittsburgh is not what I expected it to be. I expected it to be just like crime riddled, scary, police sirens every, I'll say 10 minutes, I was going to say every five, but even they really do need a coffee break. Um, and also I thought it would be like gritty, dirty, etc. that the bridges would be like falling down because my nickname for Pittsburgh is the city of bridges because there are so many looking at their skyline. It is pretty impressive without being overwhelmed by just a bunch of like buildings that are all made of like the same 30 materials maybe at different heights and sizes, but here you can actually see the sky, you can see the moon, you can breathe the air, and that was my other fear, is that it was going to be super polluted and have that like scent that New York City has on it that it takes like six days to get it out of your hair. Um, and people who live there don't even realize it's there anymore because, oh, look, there's a view, there's a view. Wait, there you go. There's a better view. Um, but no, it's definitely not like that. Also, I thought the people would be miserable here, but they are incredible. I have to tell you, this is probably top three or four as far as how friendly the people have been. Everyone. I haven't met a single person that has given me that side eye. Or we know how it is when you're one of the many shades of brown or black. You sometimes like, you know give those little side glances or never not once also the age ranges here are from the oldest to you know hip young people who are making their way in the world which is nice to everyone in between and it's more diverse than I thought it would be and that's so awesome so good because without that they probably never would have progressed and made the, the improvements to the city that they've made. You can walk here at night using common sense, just like anywhere else. There is a lot to do, a lot to see. I am staying in the art district, um, and there are tons of museums around here. Lots to do. Um, the Andy Warhol Museum, the Museum of History, they do have a science museum, the museum, there's um, a branch of the Smithsonian here, Sotheby's is here, Sotheby's, yes, so I couldn't get away from the auction business, even in Pittsburgh, who knew? So that actually shows you some of their progression from being like, who would put a high-end auction house here ever in the past, no one. But now that all this diversity and all the changes that have been made, the city is definitely safer. It's not necessarily the safest city in the United States, of course, because it is really a city, like an actual city. Um, but it is, you know, something that I actually would put between across, not across, but I would put it in between like New York and Boston, like a hybrid of perhaps both. And you do have the water, and as I mentioned before, and I can't mention enough, all of these bridges, which is pretty amazing. They have a tunnel system. I don't love the tunnels just because I don't like 
driving underground for more than like a few minutes and you're under there for more than a few minutes, it's not bad. Traffic continue, you know, it goes and they have two lanes and it's fine. Um, during rush hour, I'm sure it's a completely different like scenario. Obviously, I came in here at like four something in the morning. And even as I ventured out the few times that I could because I've been here working, um, and you know what my hours have been if you watch my other videos, it's like you go in at 4, you get at 4 p.m., you get out at like 6.30 a.m. So um, at those hours, obviously, the after out the 6.30 a.m. part of it, like no one is out on the street yet. I mean, there are, but it isn't like 7 or 8, 9 o'clock, you know, work hours yet for people. Thank goodness because I would never get back here. And I am staying um, on the North Shore, or in the North Shore area, which is, like I said, downtown. And it is, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I, I actually enjoy it. We need to come back here, my family and I, to do like a few days of exploration because obviously I've been working weird hours and have been exhausted by the time I got here and also muscles are aching that I didn't even know I had as a child and because this um, is the most physical I've ever had to be for any acting role ever and I've done off-Broadway and I was a doo-wop girl in Little Shop of Horrors number two but the thing is it is pretty crazy it's fun it's wild i guess with um uh, i don't know it, it is what it is but i was gonna say i guess with the personality that jason momoa has of course this is an action drama suspense type movie you're going to have a lot of physical activity that's just the way it is the thing to know is nothing that you cannot do. You just have to have the stamina to do it over and over again in different ways, in different areas for hours, hour after hour. And there are breaks and there are plenty of meals and they have plenty of food and water and you can get warm and some of it is inside, some of it is outside. So it's not like these people are working you like it's you're on your last leg like that's definitely not happening and they do warn people to take breaks and sit out if you need to and you know they have said more than one time that you know a movie is definitely not worth your health hello like have common sense people but I understand they need to say that because there are some people who are very dedicated or either who are afraid they won't get called back or whatever their fears are and you just want to make it clear so I've come back to the room, I've scrubbed the war paint off, I've decompressed, and I here today, I actually in the room um, brought in my own tea because I wanted some hot tea before I went to bed. So I stopped to get that, and that was easy to do. The one thing I will say is in this North Shore area where I'm staying, and I mean like in this, I will say in like the... 10 block area there's really not a lot of um retail if any as i can think about that um because there are so many like museums and artsy things and installations and event type things to do you know um places you can go listen to music etc you know, if you need a CVS or a Rite Aid, like I needed to get these inserts for my boots, um, just I wanted some gel inserts. So, and plus, you know, for warmth, as well as I needed that extra cushion because after like, I don't know, the 13th, 14th hour, even I was starting to wear a little bit on like the, after multiple days of shooting. And so I, the closest place I could go was like in, actually the like the heart of downtown where all the business like where the business buildings are the skyscrapers and the issue with that is the parking and it wasn't probably like it it wouldn't have been an issue if it was like a normal day but it wasn't 
they're having some sort of gigantic Christmas bazaar. Everyone in the state of Pennsylvania, people will travel to come to see this thing. And yeah, it was crazy. So I was, and streets were blocked off. So even when my directional device was like, go left or go right or go straight or whatever, you know, with police barriers and cars there, eh, yeah, you can't really do that. Even though there's a one-way street over there and you're like, if I go that way, then I, you know, you have to like do driving gymnastics. So that was different. Did not expect that. And just to let you know, there are some famous people who came from Pittsburgh, such as, let's see if I can do this, Chris, Christina Aguilera. I didn't know that. George Benson, do you remember him? He's like the jazzy soul singer, blues singer from like the 80s. I used to sing his songs. Nellie Bly, Charles Bronson, which ironically, this movie, um, Sweet Girl starring Jason Momoa, the guy who was Aquaman, um, he, this movie is sort of like a death wish, gone girl type hybrid type movie. So it's funny that Charles Bronson is from this area because he was the star of all the death wish movies and Ted Cassidy, who played Lurch, if you don't know that on the Adams family, um, Billy Eckstein, who is a swing era band leader. I know about that type of music because my father-in-law plays that plus other types of movies music from that era Jeff Goldblum from The Fly and all the Jurassic Park movies Holly Hunter Dean Martin Dennis Miller Mr. Rogers so cute and they're doing so many things for Mr. Rogers and yes there's a museum here for him as well and the movie is out right now, I think, um, starring Tom Hanks, and lots of interviews have been happening with his wife, Sharon Stone, remember her, you know who she is, Andy Warhol, of course, Mike Ditka, um, Andrew Carnegie, so we're going way back in the day, like the 1800s, and Thomas Mellon, two people who became incredibly filthy and, like, disgustingly rich, um... Who else is there? Oh, Henry Hines, the maker of the Hines ketchup line, and others. So, you know, Pittsburgh is no longer that scary, gritty, dirty, everybody's miserable all the time, the bridges are rusty and falling apart, so roads suck type city. It's actually very clean. The people are incredibly, I'm telling you, I'm giving this a top three on the kindness factor and neighborliness factor of these people. They will talk to you. They will hold it. They'll ask you, oh, I see you have a Connecticut license plate on your car. Did you drive down here from, up here from Connecticut or down here or whatever? And you're like, yes. And they're like, blah, 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 blah. And I know, da, da, da. And I've been to, oh my God, are you near New York? And uh, and just like, they'll hold it. It's almost like down South where people will just like adopt you as their child. And that's how I felt really nice. And as far as being a person of color down here, that was another misconception I had is that, you know, there were not going to be very many of us down here or up here, wherever we, it's down here actually from where I live, Connecticut is up here and I drove down here, but whatever. Um, that's not correct. It's now very diverse. It's not super diverse, but compared to what I thought it was going to be, definitely diverse, interracial couples, you know, Asian people, black people, his, not as many Hispanic people, but there are Hispanic people, um, Indian people, of course, you still have white people, of course. So, um, yeah, it's good, it's great. You know, nice little teeny tiny family, so cute. Um, people who are older, people who are definitely like just making it out there in the world in life and everyone in between. I don't know what the pay rates are. The gas rates are, I'm going to say like maybe eight or nine cents less expensive than where I live in Connecticut anyway. But it, where I live in Connecticut, if I go like three towns over, the gas is less expensive than where I personally live anyway. So, um, you know, so the gas prices, I mean, it's, you're not going to save like 
million, hundreds, I should say hundreds, tens of dollars or hundreds of dollars, but it's definitely something. I drove up here by myself. Yes, do not drive like I drove. I, you know, was driving at a time when only myself, the truckers, and a few other drivers were on the road. So, and I only saw two state police officers and one of them was going at least 100 miles per hour. So with me going about 80 behind him, we were, I was good. I was good. Um, and he did that for many miles and I was sort of happy because I was like, all right, I'll follow you in. And then after he went off, you know, I was on my own with the truckers again. Yay. And... Yeah, so it's been really good. I plan on, like I said, my family and I, Al and I talked about it already, um, coming back here at some point. So it's one of the places in the United States, I guess we want to see that we did not think we wanted to see before. And I don't know if I showed you this already, but this is the North Shore downtown, which is where I am staying. And it is not overly congested. It, this reminds me of a hybrid between New York and Boston. So if you were to morph them together and they were to have like a third cousin, this might be the second or third cousin. And that's not a bad thing. Um, what else can I tell you? So like I said, shooting wrapped up for me. So, and I need to get back to Connecticut. We have no groceries. Thanksgiving is coming and I am not doing an ad for Rolex, am I? Yeah, I am. Um, this is not a sponsored video, <laughs> but Rolex, you can contact me. I'll, I'll sponsor your crap out of you. All you need to do is give me a couple empty boxes. That's all I need. But, um, so I need to get back home because dinner needs to be made. I pre-made nothing. Usually I have some things that I have already pre-made and I've frozen because they're almost better with a little age on them. And then I'll thaw them out and then, you know, cook the rest of everything else. But I haven't cooked anything to freeze. I have, I don't even have turkey in the freezer or in the refrigerator or anywhere other than the wild turkey flocks that we get it through our woods, I guess I could send out Al out there with one of the um, weapons and he can like harvest one for us, which will never, ever, ever, ever happen. But yeah, we don't have anything that even looks like Thanksgiving in the house except for some Thanksgiving dishes that my mommy gave me. Uh, for Christmas one year. So I have to get back to Connecticut also because Daisy finally has a break from law school and she'll be home for a couple to a few days before she's off to Boston to visit her friends for a couple of days. And I might need to squeeze getting her hair, in, hair done in between that. So that will take me like two days by itself. So yeah, there's a lot on my plate when I get home and we still have orders we printed out invoices for and shipping labels, but now they need to be packed. So <laughs> I want to thank you guys for tuning in, going on this adventure with me. Yes, there will be more coming out about, you know, the movie that I'm in and other projects that will be coming up. If I can talk about them, I'll only talk about or show what I can talk about or show um, because I am under contract. So that's just life. That's just the way it is. Um, I don't know, commitments. <laughs> so thank you once again. Give, us, give me a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe. Please share the videos. The more you do that, the more content I can put out because it sort of gives me like that vitamin boost to say, oh my God, I need to do more videos because these guys are so awesome and you are awesome. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. And when we get to that 1000 mark, I have some incredible things that I am going to do. And once we get to 1200, then there is another step in the incredible that is going to occur. And just to remind you that, yes, a new playlist will be coming out in 2020 
for those who are interested in acting themselves so that you'll know how I did it and how you can do it. Or if you have a child or a senior citizen who's in, you know, interested in doing this. This is not just for the young, like 20 year olds or 19 year olds, or let's even say 16 year olds, or even the cute little toddler child or eight year old, you know, they need people across all demographics, all across all, especially nowadays, finally, all ethnicities. And if you demand that in your viewing of movies and television, all of that will become even more normal and prevalent. So be choosy about what you watch. But anyway, just remember the most important thing is your health is your wealth. And without your health, you have nothing. Be well.